What's up guys, thought I'd give you guys an update on the 13 foot invader build. Just a few more fiberglass repairs and it's ready for paint and I think I'm going to go with a whaler blue which will be kind of cool. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys what we're looking like. So starting off with the bow, got the hatch put in, painted all inside there, made it look nice. And most of the fiberglass work is done. I originally primered it. The only thing left in the bow is feathering in these sides with the rest of the boat. Same thing on this side. Trying to go for just a nice clean square look to where you can't tell that these are two different pieces. So for the console, I don't know if you guys saw the last video, but originally it was built to here and I extended it because I wanted a front seat and the battery compartment will be right in here. So that'll be nice to open up the hatch, get to work on the battery if you need to. Got the whole console laid with one sheet of fiberglass and a coat of resin over it. So we'll have the steering rack here shifter probably have two cup holders and maybe some type of box for your phone th and throw stuff in there have a bit of storage in here like i said the battery will sit right there so it'll have right here for backpacks and whatever so where i'm gonna be sitting is most likely in this seat 90 percent of the time and the last thing i want is to be going pretty fast and whole seat to just fly off and rip off the floor so i cut out a piece of wood f screwed it in glued it fiberglassed it and then i'll mount that post straight to here so it's a little bit more solid into the boat so as you can see it'll sit just like that with the six or seven screws that hold it in the last video i said I was going to use this railing right here for the back but found a new railing that was a little bit more customizable with all these set screws and you could just cut them to shape versus welding and turned out to be a pretty good fit, man, if you ask me. But yeah, overall the railing, really liking the look of it. Still need a bow railing, but haven't been able to find one that fits this yet. So this custom bend seat in the back gave me a bit of trouble just because of how weird the shape is and the curves of the boat. But So I think I'll do gas tank here. We'll do another gas tank here when we run, you know, more than 15 miles out. But we'll have most likely life jackets, towels, stuff like that. This will be random storage and gas tank. So I got all these walls fiberglassed in. All the corners fiberglassed. So that'll be nice and strong. And I'm just going to latch it in the front like this. It's got a bit of some pressure actually which is nice for vibration. Now it's probably not the most ideal look using stainless steel door hinges, but this plywood ended up bowing on me. I don't know if you could tell. So yeah, as you can see, the plywood ended up bowing on me. So this front latch holds the front seem nice and tight and if i went with a piano hinge in the back it just wouldn't have held the back end tight enough so i resorted to going to door hinges 
still got to trim these bolts. And then I ended up just facing these ones the other way so these didn't end up hitting each other when it closes. So I'll trim, trim the end of these, probably put a rubber caps on them. And then when I get a nice cushion for this, you won't even see the these part of the hinges. But yeah, that's about all I need to do for the bench seat other than painting. I think we're gonna go with white for the bench seat, white for the console, all the gunnels and everything and the bow is gonna be a whaler blue. And hopefully we can get the whole painted whaler blue as well. And then I'm gonna order some sea deck That'll be gray with blue seams. So that'll give it a nice cool look as well. So if you guys saw in the last video, I said we were gonna get this 40 horse Nissan from our buddy, which we ended up getting. Definitely needs a tune up. It's very oily stroke for you but but yeah super stoked on that hopefully we could get about 30 to 40 miles per hour pushing on this thing it's more than enough for a 13 foot boat so there's an update for the 13 foot invader i think the next video will probably be us painting this thing maybe getting a bow railing for it and setting up some of the buttons and switch panel and all that for the console so if you want to see some more videos on this thing subscribe and hopefully we'll get it in the water soon see ya